Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today, I created this look using my Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. So if that sounds like fun to you, keep on watching. We're getting into it now. Okay, so let's get started with today's olive green eye look as voted on by you, my YouTube crew. Thank you so much for voting. If you did participate in the poll to help me decide what it was to film for you next, I really love getting your feedback on seeing what it is that you would like to have come across your feed specifically from me. So I've had a lot of fun with those polls. Thank you so much for all of you who have participated in that. But let me show you the eyeshadow palettes that I have pulled out today that I'm considering for creating a really pretty neutral eye look with a pop of green. And I'm going to lean more towards the olive tone green for today's pop of color. And the palettes that I'm going to be pulling the greens from, the Natasha Denona Retro Glam. This has some nice khaki and soft green shades. Also, I have here my Natasha Denona Safari palette, and I do not use this palette enough. I love this palette because it's all mattes and it's colorful mattes. Admittedly, these are not quite the same level of Natasha Denona's current matte formula, but they're still really good mattes, and they were better than the other mattes that were out on the market back when this was, you know, in its prime. So all that being said, I might dip into, let me, let me face the palette the right way so that you can see the color story as it was intended. Um, I might dip into this really pretty green shade here in the corner. And I'm not gonna try to do like a super, super green look. I wanna keep it more neutral. So for the neutral shades, If I don't use the neutral shades from here, I actually do think I'm going to use the neutral shades from this palette. And then if I need to amp up any of the olivey tones, I'll pop into some of those other palettes that I just shared with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, so I did just finish filming this chatty get ready with me. If you're curious about the makeup that is on my face today. And oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm trying to go... I mean, I guess you could use this brush if you wanted to for a shade in there, but no, girl. Oh, I'm all thumbs. I have a broken foot over here, so it's not easy for me to go over there and pick up what I just dropped. Hold on. Of course, it fell upside down. Thank God there's not a hair in here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah, so if you missed the story about how I broke my foot, I won't, you know, for those of you who caught that tried to get ready with me, I won't repeat you know, the story here. But if you're curious what happened, I will leave that try to get ready with me down below in the description box. Check that out if you want to know. Um, but yeah, I am really excited to be doing this look today and really hopeful. Let me put it that way. Really hopeful that I will like the shades here that I'm going to play with today from the Retro Glam. And I apologize if you hear the air conditioning that just kicked on. I have to leave it on because it's like 105 degrees outside and my dogs and they need the air. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to start off with this, whoop, this lightest shade here in the Retro Glam. And I'm going to put that... You know, I'm, I usually do the same kind of a shape, okay? And that's because I just find it to be the most flattering for my face. And when I do my makeup, I like for my makeup to be flattering. <laughs> that's just, you know, that's my vibe with makeup. And so if you want to switch it up because you don't like doing the same shape or whatever, then you can maybe just follow along with what kind of colors I'm using and place them in different areas so that you get a totally different kind of a shape. And also, if you are following along trying to create a similar shape, keep in mind that 
our natural eye shape tends to really influence how the look is going to turn out like as far as you know even if it looks like you're placing something in the exact same spot if we have like a very different eye shape than each other it might not look the same way just because your eye shape might be completely different okay so i'm taking that slightly darker green over here into the other like middle portion of the crease i don't want to go to the outer part because i am going to put like a darker khaki green there i think i'm going to use the shade from the safari palette and i'm actually really excited about it and you know i think i really like those colors am i changing my mind about my retro glam palette I would be really happy if it was that. Oh, I almost picked up my Metropolis. That's not with the one. I want the Safari. Having all these olive greens is so fun. I love having a variety to choose from. I'm just using the same brush and I'm gonna go into this beautiful olive green mat. And I'm gonna just put this out here. Ooh, look at that. Oh God, I love, love Natasha Denona mats. Look at that okay um oh my gosh look at that beautiful solid green gorgeous pigment does anybody come close i think not okay i think not all right now i'm gonna go back to that middle shade and just flip the brush back over to the one that i was using so that I can try to just build up that middle part of the crease a little more because I feel like I lost that one shade and I want it to be like blending into the green. There we go. Okay. I think I'm gonna need to wash brushes really soon. Let me show you. Look at how full my brush container is. And this brush holder, actually, my son brought it home from his last day of school. He had apparently made this in his um, pottery session of his art class. And I just have it here on this little poppet thing because um, I like the colors and it goes nicely with this blue and it'll keep it from scratching my desktop. So I kind of use it like as a, a cute little colorful coaster. <laughs> <laughs> anyway um okay i'm just gonna take a clean soft fluffy brush and just blend those colors into each other to where it looks like a little bit more of a soft gradient and you can't quite see the harsh lines but i do feel like i lost some of that middle shade i'm gonna take a clean brush and build up that one shade right there in the middle so that I can get a better payoff. So hold on. <clears throat> I definitely want to be able to see the difference between the shades as they go into each other. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into my Safari palette. There we go. I feel like that is a gorgeous blend. Okay. Now, most people wouldn't like this super like defined line at the top of the eye. I personally prefer that. So if that's not your jam, that's perfectly understandable. And you can just take a brush and blend it out to your little heart's desire. Okay, I'm gonna soften mine just a little bit. This is just a clean, empty Hakahoto brush. I don't have anything on it, but I'm just softening up a little bit of that edge right there. And for me, these green tones blend really nicely into my skin tone because of the fact that I do have olive undertones and these greens look kind of like my skin. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna go back into my Retro Glam palette now. I'm gonna apply this shimmer that's here in the middle top row. It, I've actually never used it before, and maybe I should use my finger. I probably should use my finger, but I'm gonna apply this here on the lid. Yeah, that was kind of lackluster. Let's try it with the finger. Oh, much better. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, I feel like maybe I just didn't have the right foundation shade on before, or maybe because I'm a little bit more olive now than I remember being when I tried this palette out. Or maybe I'm just more open to these particular shades of green this time around, but for whatever reason, I can't for the life of me understand why I didn't like this palette very much before because I'm actually really loving it right now. <laughs> I'm going to use this really pretty soft, it's almost kind of leaning a little bit more towards like a spring mint green, but it is kind of mixed with a bit of a olive undertone. So I wouldn't completely say it's like a spring green. It is like a like an olive-y spring green maybe. I'm gonna just pick a little bit of that up and put that out here in the outer corner, going into that shimmer that I just had, that I just put down. This is just a clean brush. I'm just gonna blend out that top edge a little bit. I do like that a lot, lot, lot. Okay. For the lower lash line, I really do want to use this like more gray shade here in the palette, in the uh, retro glam palette. Just for the outer half to add that like slightly depth smokiness out on the outer edge. Because it's got a little bit of a sheen, it's just like not quite as dark because it reflects some of the light. And I think that that looks really pretty with that green. And is there anything? I think what I'm going to do is just, I want to do some glitter glue. So I'm going to put a little bit of glitter glue on and then I'm going to, Put this really shimmery shade here on the inner portion of my lid. Okay, now I'm gonna just, oh my gosh, look at that. Ah, gorgeous. A little more. Oh my god. That is so pretty. Yeah, I feel like I just didn't give this palette a fair chance before. I think I was just like mentally blocked by the tones of the greens because I hadn't really played with greens this like this in this shade range before. And I don't know. I feel like I do like it a lot more now than I did in the past. And I actually think that looks really, really pretty. Okay, so does this count as a neutral eye look with a pop of olive green? Or is it a solid olive green eye look? I kind of feel like it might be a solid olive green eye look. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. But I was trying to go for a pop of green. Anyway, I'm going to take that um, Dirty Hakahoto brush into this matte that was in the Safari palette. And I'm going to try to just smoke up my outer edge a little bit. Because I do want it to just be a little bit more sultry here. Yeah. It's not very obvious, but it just like tamped down some of the shine from that satin shade, which I really feel like it needed. Okay. That's the eyeshadow look right there. Let me give you a close look at just the eyeshadow. 
Okay, I'm gonna go off screen and do some finishing touches, like some eyeliner and mascara, and then I'll be right back to show you the completed olive green eye look. Okay, here's the finished eye look. Let's take a really good look at the eyes. Okay, let me zoom you out and pull down the hair. Okay, so here is the makeup look of the day. Yeah, there's the finished look. Let me know what you think. It's a little tight. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so here's the finished look. Let me know what you think. I really like it. I feel really pretty. And I'm so happy to say that I actually really, really enjoyed playing with this palette today. Let me count and see how many shades I used today. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> that seems to be my going rate. I used six shades to create this look. I used six shades to create this look and I had a lot of fun playing with this eyeshadow palette. Let me know what you think of the look down below. I would love to hear your thoughts, but yeah, here is the look. All right, technically I did use both of these eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> yeah, technically I used, technically I used both of these eyeshadow palettes, but I just used the one matte from the other one. So most of it was from this one, but I had a lot of fun creating this look. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to click the like button. It really does help my small channel out so much. Make, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!